I'm about to water cool a computer, but with a catch. The writer who prepped the system for me has never water cooled a PC before. He sought help from one of our engineers who has never water cooled a PC before. And we are going to be using an utterly unique one of a kind water block that is intended to cool both the CPU and the graphics card as one. The cost for this madness? 800 US dollars. And by the time we're done, possibly my sanity based on how things went last time we built a computer. That is a lot of that's taste, a, that's Adam. A, that's a little, not a sorry, not a oops, my bad. Cool. I don't want to lie to you. This doesn't make any sense. HDMI? I don't think it posted. It's going to be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry about this message from our sponsor. Supermicro, introducing Supermicro's H13 servers, powered by AMD's Epic 9004 processors with up to a whopping 128 cores. It makes you go whop. Get the highest core count on a single processor and blazing fast performance for memory intensive workloads. Click the link below and upgrade your infrastructure today. Meet the Monoblock from Billet Labs. The company was founded by two blokes in the UK, one of whom is a professional machinist, obviously, and the other of which designs puzzles and luxury doodads. And boy, have they ever designed a puzzle for me today. I mean, what was the point of this? I'm not trying to be a hater or anything, but honestly, is this really saving that much space compared to this? But this is also a little bit misleading. You see, some of the inspiration for this clearly came from the 2013 Mac Pro, which used a single heatsink with multiple heat generating components attached to its various sides. And in much the same way, we have a single water block. See that? right in the middle here, that is gonna be responsible for cooling both the GPU with this cold plate and the CPU with this one over here. And while this obviously actually takes up a little bit less space, unless I get special blocks that have the fittings coming out the side, it would not actually be possible to build something quite as low profile. Although it should be noted that such blocks do in fact exist. Do they call it billet labs because you're gonna get a big bill in the mail. Like bill it. I get it, I'm just not laughing. No, that's not why they call it that. It's because it's manufactured out of copper billet. And not just any copper, the entire thing, even the parts that aren't responsible for cooling, like this back plate, are made out of C101, the purest copper they could get their hands on. In theory, this gives them an advantage in terms of thermal conductivity. In practice though, they've been making water blocks out of even more exotic materials, like pure silver for many years, and it uh, doesn't really do much. Using pure copper like this comes with some disadvantages. You might have noticed that the surface is quite marred and covered in blemishes and even what appear to be etched in fingerprints. That's pretty normal for raw copper and is one of the reasons that nickel plated blocks look so nice. Are they trying to use as much copper as possible? Why don't they use like a regular size black plate? Um, that's a really good question. And yes, that does appear to be the goal. In the words of the founder, for whom this is kind of a side project, we're never gonna be able to go toe to toe with the likes of EK water blocks in terms of being economical and making any sense. So we might as well go as hard as we can the other way and hope to pick up a handful of boutique buyers. Apparently, basically the entire inside is also machined with veins so to improve heat exchange around the whole block because this is all thermal mass. Come on, little buddy. Woo! Oh, okay. Those are some pretty finely machined little fins. I mean, it's no skived copper heat sink like Swiftech's been doing for the last five years or whatever, but very fine work. But that is an unusual choice indeed. Instead of using a rubber O-ring, they're using some kind of gasket material that I have not seen before. I don't trust it. <laughs> that is paper thin and not only relies on the gasket material not failing, but also seems to rely on the machining of the copper being absolutely perfect. This is a really cool um, internal flow pattern though. And I've got to say, I, wow. The machining of this central block piece. This piece is an insert. It's just so perfectly fitted. It seems to be just friction fitted. 
that I couldn't immediately tell. The water comes in here, okay? It goes into a cavity in the middle that is sealed off with this pressure fitted slit here. That's an accelerator plate that's going to blast high velocity water onto the cold plate for the CPU. Okay, it runs through these fins. It gets collected in these two bigger cavities which run all the way through to the other side going into the accelerator plate for the GPU. The water runs out, cools this larger plate that is gonna handle cooling for anything that this other plate is connected to like RAM or VRMs and then is gathered here where it goes out this one. So the whole thing is in serial, whereas I thought maybe it would be in parallel in order to reduce restriction, but this is gonna be a very restrictive block. Is that, is that bad? It's bad if you have a bunch of other components in your loop that rely on a high flow rate for their own cooling, but in this case, it's the only cooling engine in the entire thing, so maybe, maybe. It's one of those products where you go, wow, how did you engineer this? Why did you engineer this? We're gonna build this whole system onto that piece of acrylic because this doesn't fit into any sort of case. And then we're gonna see how it runs. They've sent me numbers and we're gonna see if we get them. They say that they can beat EK. EK has their competitive advantages, but they don't actually make the highest performing blocks on the market. So beating EK is not the, um, yeah, it's worth $1,000, massive W that you might think it is. And realistically, a lot of water block performance these days, now that it's kind of a solved problem, uh, is down to optimizing for the latest generation of CPUs, making sure that the cooling patch covers, you know, the large die of a Threadripper, for example. It's not necessarily about engineering a better copper base anymore. So depending on the CPU we install this on, it could win or it could get absolutely curb stomped. Is this our test platform? Yes. Okay. We had a different motherboard. Maybe we killed it. Oh, really, you guys? How bad is it? Where is it? Oh, no. Oh, so, oh, I've seen worse. Yeah. So what happened was that we had the gloves on because we were handling it. Rookie? <laughs> I told him that. That's what I said, Sebastian. You should have known. I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't know what you guys mean. Oh, the gloves, the fibers. If you get near the pins, it'll catch on them and pull them out. They're so, they're so tiny and they're so kind of sharp. We've apparently gone with a last generation 12900 KS. This should serve us very well as a heat load. Yeah, they claim 650 watts is what this monoblock can handle. Okay. What are you doing? What? <laughs> <laughs> You're just going in there. Yeah. Well, what do you expect me to do? I don't know. Whatever the next step is, I don't think it's that. You gotta thread, you wanna thread things. You need to, no, 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 don't do this, stop it. We need to have spacers here. There's washers and then Okay, well then why here. haven't you put the spacers on yet? I thought you were supposed to be helping. I've, you've done nothing so far. No, no, what are you doing? I'm just trying to get, no, it's still, no. What are you talking about? The washers have to go on. What washers? These, or the nuts. The nuts? Which nuts? These nuts. Hey. These nuts, <laughs> really? These nuts. I set you up like that and you can't knock it down. I mean, we don't have to take them off. What did Sebastian do? I have too much faith in other people. What are you doing? Hey. That's a really old shirt. Thanks, you look nice today too. Um, why don't you just sign for me like you always do? Oh, go away, we're frauding. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'll sign. sign. This is very interesting. Look at this. You thread on these standoffs, see? Kind of wild, hey? Is that a, a setup for another joke or? No, oh, no, okay. you just, you put on these standoffs. It's kind of wild. Yeah. Zaboomafu, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wild Kratz. You don't have children. Um, crap. Which way did you say these uh, tubes went again? That's the way they're supposed to go. You have got to be kidding me. Please don't tell me the other motherboard had clearance there and you guys designed it for the other motherboard and now we're just boned. We did do it on the other board, on the other motherboard. It did fit. And the replacement motherboard, it doesn't fit. But Sebastian's here to help. So we're gonna go machine this down. Oh. So we're gonna what? Oh no. No! Oh, oh, what a mess. You can spray it off. 
What is the Tormac juice? It's uh, cutting fluid and distilled water. Don't forget about the metal shards, though. That's how I want to go out. Drink a bunch of Tormac juice and then put me in the MRI. <laughs> to our credit, it does look pretty clean. Wait, Linus, how did you end up doing this? I don't know, he pulled an ester. It's like there's multiple esters in your life. Polyester. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm more of a cotton poly blend guy myself, but I still like it. LTTstore.com, by the way. It's on there, and it seemed like pretty good mounting pressure as I was tightening it down. It's a hard mount, so they better get the tolerances exactly right, but hey, there's a lot of that going around with this product. Oh crap. It's so close. Let's put the RAM in the Tormach. It's not. <laughs> this is like when your kid learns like one word and then they're just looking for excuses to use it. Tormach. Tormach. <laughs> no, Adam. No. <laughs> no, not Tormach. Tor not now. Why not Tormach now? Tormach later. No. <laughs> Tormach now. As long as Boom. Oh. Did you, you got it. Do you put it in backwards? <laughs> <laughs> Get a shot of that, look at that. <laughs> All of the components here are meant to mount into a frame, like on a computer case. Wait a second. I'm not the dummy. This is DDR4. Is this a DDR5 board? Uh, the other board was DDR4. Okay. <laughs> I even checked. Why don't you tell me what you've done over here? Basically, we wanted to put it all in this piece of plexi, but these mount in a case. Right. So L brackets. L brackets. We have a bunch of these brackets so that we can put two 40 millimeter rads flanking either side, have our all of our stuff mounted. Mm -hmm. All taking up only marginally less space than if we had put this in a normal case with normal water. We had an afternoon, and that's kind of one of the issues with this product is that while it itself is very small, it doesn't really work with other things. It doesn't really shrink any of the other stuff that takes up a lot of space. Yeah, like they have pictures on their Instagram of like the motherboard and the block and then a pump. And you're like, wow, that's really cool. Where's your power supply? Where's, the, Where's the all your cables? But yeah, this is not tight at all. Whoa, okay, guys, boys, 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 boys. Okay, who's been tightening these fittings? These are not tight enough. Okay, okay, those are tight enough. I am deeply worried about this whole thing. Oh my God, this radiator doesn't even have the piece here. Oh, no. uh, you have to put the battery before the motherboard. That's the only one. The oh, battery. The battery. The battery. Do I have to explain that water cooling <laughs> systems supply. don't need batteries? The power supply. The power supply. <laughs> Man, this is a cool power supply. 1100 watts in the palm of your hand. A limited power. <laughs> this video is definitely going to have some stuff that doesn't make it into the YouTube cut. Subscribe to Flowplane for the uh, cutting room floor cut. For all the memeing and setbacks, this is actually starting to come together here, though. Lower our motherboard into place. We've achieved a contrived reason to use this product. Wow. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's get this done. This is bad. No, we had it. It was working and everyone said it was good. Yeah, but everyone was you two. <laughs> no, I also you know, was... Alex. <laughs> oh, the tubes. Yeah, oh, no, the tubes go this that's way. what I'm talking no, 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 about. You have, the you have it mounted the wrong way. You have it mounted the wrong way. These are going to be this going the sideways. Uh, oh uh, my god. Yeah. Oh my god. You guys are like, how... <laughs> Okay, let me show you guys something. <laughs> Amateur hour here. <laughs> Literally though. How do you put a piece of tubing there? How are you gonna run? How are you gonna tube that? Oh, uh, more more fittings. No. <laughs> <laughs> the inmates are running the asylum. Okay, where do you want these to go? I have no idea. <laughs> this is interesting. They gave us pre-cut thermal pads, and I thought they would just give us strips, but like. I'm basically just gonna lay this on here. Did we bring over any other water cooling fittings or just yes, what you guys have? Yes, we have more fittings in this, in this bin. Okay, show me what you no, got. No, we have more fittings in this bin. AD102, is that 4090? What? Yeah. They told me this was a 3090 Ti. 
if this wasn't a 3090 Ti, then we don't have another 3090 Ti that we Wait, can take apart. How the hell did we not know what GPU this thing was? I, I thought it was a 3090 Ti. So we just casually had a 4090 sitting on the shelf, clearly <laughs> labeled, <laughs> and nobody knew what it was. <laughs> Okay, which Tweedle are you? And which Tweedle are you? Tweedle one or two? Yeah, Tweedle A and Tweedle one. Tweedle A and Tweedle one. <laughs> to be very clear, I have my moments, but you guys are making me look pretty good today. Is that actually going on? Um, well, it's trying. Do you want to check my work in a moment? I would love to check your work. <laughs> one thing that's weirding me out a little bit though, is that these are cooled on the Corsair design, and not on this one. I hate to do this, but I would put some thermal compound on them. It's GPU time! RK4090! Um, hold on, we yeah, should plug this in Be more careful. Yeah. Um, really, you got thermal compound <laughs> all over Sorry. it. Sorry. Adam! <laughs> oh, it's me. It's, it's, it's both of us. <gasps> no! What? Oh. Wait, that fit the before. The pump! Mm, fit before. What did we do? I mean, how important is this bit? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you know what's really funny? Is I think you're actually right. I think we could just lop off this little bit of the PCB. No. There's nothing there. Should we risk it for the biscuit? Oh my God, no! <laughs> I'm about to save this project. Our L brackets. See how they have two mounting points? I'm gonna slide it back. Okay, so we're gonna try and line it up again here. Come on, mama. Yeah, yeah, if you don't mind. Come on, mama. Mama, don't do it right now. The thermal pad is supposed to go on the back of the GPU and hold the washers into place. Yeah. The way that the holes line up, that's how. Yeah. Okay, try the top left one there. Okay, don't go too far. Okay, I think we got this. Oh, okay. It's kind of a cool computer. I kind of want to just plug it in and see if it posts before we fill it with water. Oh my God, we don't have a power button. Long metal stick, let's go. Long metal stick, power activate. Nope, form of long metal stick. Yes! <laughs> Yay, there we go! Heck yeah! Okay, a little bit of water is cycling in now. Okay, CPU temps, GPU temps. CPU temps, uh, core temp 30, core die 83. Is it possible that the reason it's so slow is the re restricted flow of the block? Uh, it's possible that's part of it, but it's also PWM controlled. Oh. So I can't just tell the pump, go oh, full, yeah. let's go. New idea. We're gonna turn up the fans by running Cinebench. It's sucking the bubbles right back in. You stupid thing. Okay, you just gotta angle it a bit. Let the bubbles get past it. You guys mounted this 90 degrees off of where it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's it's pumping now at least. Like it's it's circulating now. But it's not in necessarily a good way. It's just tearing up the water. Interesting though. Our GPU temps while we're doing nothing is a uh, 70. Uh, because our CPU is just cranking out heat. That actually doesn't account for that. No? It's pretty bad, yeah. Oh, it might be a mounting issue. It is probably a mounting issue. If this is what the mount looks like for us, don't kid yourself. Unless you are some kind Whoa. of epic master builder, it's not gonna be much okay, better for here's you. Okay, here's the thing though. So they sent us a 3090 Ti kit. They said it would work with a 4090, but they didn't know how well. Okay, well, I so guess we in got their, their answer. Yeah. Uh, did some research for you, Billet Labs. It doesn't work that great. The best case scenario for this thing is the temps are slightly better, but the experience of building with it is a nightmare, and the advantages over literally any other solution are negligible. It's a cool concept, but unfortunately, I think that there are very few buyers for it. With that said, you know, if it tickles your fancy, but you're thinking, yeah, cool idea, but maybe if it was a little more like this, I wouldn't be surprised if these guys could basically make just about anything for you. They've definitely got the manufacturing chops. 
just like I've got the chops for this segue to our sponsor. Secret Lab, the world's worst kept secret. Chances are you've seen a Secret Lab chair in one of our videos, but did you know they make desks too? Shh, don't tell anyone, just kidding. <laughs> Their Magnus Pro isn't your average sit to stand desk. It's loaded with unique features. Is cable management something you dread? Secret Lab makes it easy with a patent pending integrated power supply column and a full length built in cable management tray. And of course the Magnus Pro is fully adjustable as a sit to stand desk with a sleek integrated control panel. And to top it all off, pun intended, is a premium full metal tabletop. So you can explore one of the greatest questions of our time. Magnets, how do they work? Check out the Magnus Pro and all of Secret Lab's other offerings at the link below. And 95 degrees, 100 degrees, turn it off. Oh. Quick, 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 off, off, off. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, you might enjoy the one where we, you know what? Let's throw to the bong cooler because it was super impractical, but maybe more practical than this.